cooped up in that house yeah. doing doing that audit and the only time I got out of the house was when I went to pick the kids up from school and brought them back and watched them for just a little piece but yeah we are going for a ride you know I'm not one of these people that want to go to the mall or you know I'm just not I'm not you see me in the mall and they almost giving stuff away if it's almost free I might go but mm -mm. but we're going to go take some um, clothes over to a friend do y'all do hand-me-downs we do hand-me-downs I wish I could find me a big girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> so I can get some hand-me-downs preferably someone who dresses nice but not too nice because you know I ain't fancy but we had a uh, um, my friend Beth, her son-in-law, gave us some clothes. Gave Chris some clothes a while back. And then my sister's boyfriend, Lee, gave us some clothes. And, and they were Chris's size, but there's just some that he doesn't like. So we're going to gift them on down to somebody else. And so that's where we're going now, to drop them off. And then we're going to go eat. I don't Have I eat out? Have we eaten out in a while? I don't think so. I don't think so. So anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna go have some Mexican food. And then we're gonna go for a ride in the country. You know, like a Sunday afternoon ride. Well, we're gonna be that, but we're gonna be able to do it on Saturday. All right, I'll write you in a little bit. Okay, Aaron number one is off. Now we're going to Compadres, I think. I think he's made his mind up that's the one he wants to go to. So What's been going on since we last spoke to the world? I don't know, Eric. It just goes in. Audit. Audit. My mother said, she's, she's trying not to call me to bother me during the audit. And on, on day three, she calls, I've been trying not to bother you. <laughs> She says, but I would like some salt and some, you know, Dr. Peppers. She can't find her Dr. Peppers. I just, I mean, I literally last week bought her two cases of Dr. Peppers and green tea. Really? I don't know. She says she's giving them away to people. I don't know. But anyway, so I, I sent my sister and sister-in-law a text. Mother would like some salt. I said, but keep in mind, she's on a no added salt diet. And so we, you know, we're gonna give her just a few little packets. So my sister put in a Ziploc bag, so a few packets of salt. And on the outside, she wrote from Vicky because she don't want to get in trouble with the nurses, and I don't want to get in trouble with the nurses. So I, it's like <laughs> great. So Terry, she dropped them off. She dropped them off, and uh, mother was, I am so excited. And so Terry was visiting her for a little while, and. Uh, I guess it was, I don't know, 30 minutes later, my mother found those salt packets. And she said, oh, Terry, do you want these salt packets? I've been saving them for somebody. I don't remember who I saved them for. Do you want them? And Terry said, mother, I just brought them for you. She said, oh, that's right, Never mind. I'm losing my mind. So anyway, she's um, got to love her. But on that third day that that um, auditor was there, and he's a really nice guy. Something's wrong with my right phone. Right now he is. Right now he is. <laughs> so anyway, on that third day, I, I told her, I said, he's still here, mother. Well, what is he doing? Let me fix my phone. Hang on. Okay, ho hopefully I got it fixed. So on that third day, she calls and she's, what is he doing? So, well, he's just going over everything very thoroughly. You know, I have everything laid out for him, and you know, he has to enter the numbers. She said, Well, is he being nice to you? I said, Yes, ma'am, he is. He's being nice. I don't need her calling the state complaining that somebody's mistreating her daughter. <laughs> call her number. She'll call 911. That man's being ugly to my daughter. I can just see it now. I can see it now. Used to work for the government. Oh yeah, because I used to work for the government. <laughs> I don't know where she got that. I, I don't know. She thinks she told people I work for the government. You know, the secret government. 
I am like I am like spy. Yeah, you're a world class spy. <laughs> because you know I am the epitome of spy Poker material. Place, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jeez. You so know. I just look at you. I, Chris probably did it. You know. If someone said, you know, they robbed a bank while ago. Oh my gosh, was it me? You know, because <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind sometimes. But you know, I you know I remember once at church we were. In, um, now, we were not in charge of collecting the money. Somebody else was, you know, collecting the money, but I was in charge of the meals, cooking the meals and planning the meals and ordering the foods. And, and there were some other ladies that took other days. But I remember some money came up missing. And I worried myself sick thinking, oh my gosh, I've gone crazy. I'm stealing from the church. Because, I, you know, crazy people don't know they're crazy. And I really thought, is it me? Am I doing it? But I never touched the money. But we found out later who was doing it. And there was, yeah. yeah, there was a there was a little incident, but we found out later who was doing it. And uh, I can't tell you the incident, but it was so funny. But it wasn't me. <laughs> I'm just so glad. But anyway, I don't yeah, even. She gets crazy sometimes. Well, you know, crazy people don't know they're crazy. You know. Yeah, I think they do. No, they don't. They really don't know they're crazy. But anyway, so we're fixed to pull in here, and I don't even know what I was talking about. Do you? What? What gave me to the? What got me to the church? I don't know. Money. Oh, the money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would make the world's worst criminal. I'm, seriously, world's worst criminal. Mm. I, I just, I just look guilty all the time. But I don't know why. I don't know why. All right, we're pulling into Capadres. I'll holler at y'all a bit. Oh, we stuffed. But it was good. Yeah, it was good. We, we only ate half of our meal, so... What I was gonna cook for supper tonight was chicken parmesan, but I don't think I'm gonna cook that. I think we're gonna have the leftovers for lunch. So we dropped them off back at the house, and now we're going for a little ride. We got a little gas in the car. I'm a cheap date. I really am a cheap date. <laughs> I am. But I've been doing much better about cooking at the house, hadn't I? Oh. Yeah. At least I think I have. fried pork chops one night and didn't burn the house down. Yeah, they were good. They were good. They looked like real pork chops, like like something your mama would cook. <laughs> I think I took a picture. I'll, I'll show you my pork chops because they never are like that. Never. Usually they bald sometimes. They bald <laughs> and there's smoke in the kitchen. And homemade gravy and everything and the corn that I cooked I put that up the peas that I cooked I put them up too yep of course I didn't grow them but I don't know maybe God will send us a farm one day like a seven acre farm we had a hundred we had 120 something acres of farm like I miss it, but then I wake up. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, Continue on I-59 South for nine miles. That's my that's my GPS telling me where I want to go. Yeah. All right. So, what's, what's your plans? What's your immediate plans? What's your dreams for the future? I don't know. What's your goals? I would love to build the camp back. I don't know. Buy some books. Put some watch hours on. We had a fish camp in Bay St. Louis most of my life. Yeah. Bill got the first one. My dad built them back. Yeah. Then Katrina got the second the one. The second one. Yeah. It would be nice to have that back. Yeah. But, it would, but I mean, just like, you don't need it, but it's something 
won't. Maybe we should do like Janice. Instead of building a summer kitchen, our YouTube money will go to building the fish camp. Y'all support our channel. I'd like to see some of YouTube. I'm just making. Oh, on Facebook, I made 41 cents. Oh, man. I know. I don't I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> I, probably won't, I probably won't see that for quite some time. Half a pack of gum? I don't even know if it buy you a pack of gum. Three or half a pack? Know. I don't know. I don't know the last time I bought gum. I don't know. But yeah. Watch them, watch them videos. Tell your friends. Tell your mama. <laughs> Watching videos, we're gonna we're gonna build the camp back. That's what it is. That's what we're gonna do. Y'all buy some books, watch some videos. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. Way St. Miles as a kid coming up. Our kids loved it too. And we, but, you know, at that stage of our life, you couldn't go down there much because of work and their school and their activities. And Now on, 
Hashtag build the kale bag. Fish. Build the fish kale bag. Yeah, we can do it. I know God can do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. We need to we need to be asking for that. Be very specific when you ask for something. Yeah. But we're gonna turn off the road up here. It's nothing but just trees and stuff right now, but on the side, nothing to look at. Just trees. Yeah, I believe so. In a half mile, take exit 51 toward Purvis. Yep, in a half mile, exit 51 towards Purvis. There you go. Hashtag, build the camp back. I'll holler at you later. Someone just sent me a message on, uh, or commented on my YouTube channel that they're binge watching my videos to bring up the watch hours. Yay! I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Yep. Hopefully we'll have this video out by tonight, but I'm so excited. Thank you again for watching the, watching the videos. I just got to tell you something funny. Now, my daddy's side of the family, they were practical jokers. And we, there's, I mean, no matter what, we can always find something to laugh about. And even in uh, times of, you know, mourning, and we, um, Cindy and I and Chris and that man, Cindy Berry, we went to uh, one of my cousin's uh, husband's wake. And, um, you know, he's in a better place. And we just, we just love this cousin. Her name is Lou. Cousin Lou. And so we're up there. You know how the southern people do. We go up there and we shake everybody's hands and hug and all of that kind of stuff. And I have, you know, I get up there to my cousin Lou. And do you know what she said? She introduced me. People you never met. To people I have never met. Now, I put on my best clothes. And I had perfume on. And I had makeup. My hair was fixed. And she introduces me to her friends that are there at the wake. This is my cousin Vicky. Now she's not my favorite. My favorite is Cindy. But uh, this is Vicky. Not my favorite. I love Cindy. Now, how do you follow up with that? All I could say was, what, what was it I said? I don't know what you said. Yeah, I, must, I think I'm the troublemaker because there's really no response you can give to that after it's nice to meet you. <laughs> my cousin Vicky, she ain't my favorite. That's about like the, my, my Aunt Willise. God love her. She's in heaven. I know she's in heaven. And I remember she was in the hospital once and we went... We being me and I guess Rebecca. Maybe you went with us. I'm not sure. But anyway, Rebecca looked just like me. And uh, my Aunt Willise, she'll tell it like it is. She ain't going to put no, no airs. But she looked at me and she said, She looks just like you, Vicky, before you put on all that weight. Aunt <laughs> Willise. Hey, I go up 30 miles to look at you in the hospital. What do you mean, wait? <laughs> but it was the truth. She looks just like you before you put on all that weight. So, if you don't want the truth to be told, don't come to my family. Because we're going to tell it whether you want to hear it or not. All right, what we're going to do now, because we went and looked at that property. It didn't, it didn't jump out. There was no bells and whistles from God. Yeah, there was a red warning. What? Red light warning. Oh, then there was some warnings. There. Yeah, there was, some, <laughs> there was some. Yeah, there was some warnings. But the then, neighborhood. All right, let's be careful what we say. But yeah, there was. A, it's not for us. Not for us. But we're gonna be looking for one. Maybe. I don't know. I like my city house. I like that city living. But I know he gave up. He gave up his farm. He did. And I've always, I've always regretted it. Now I know that it 
was meant to be because all the doors opened. I mean, every single door opened to where we ended up. I mean, it was, it was just like, I don't know. It was the smoothest thing. I don't know. I, I know it was meant to be. But I've always, you know, wish he had his... Just the wrong. Wrong season. Wrong time. Wrong time. Uh, we, had, we had fun there. Yeah. Kids learned a lot. Kids learned a lot. And, uh, well, we loved it, but it just got to the point where we just, I don't think we really had time for that big farm. Load up 
No, she didn't load up that day. So the pig stayed, and we had to load up the llama ramers and carry them to the vet. We literally pulled into the, and we've never seen this vet before. We've seen the, her other partner. Yeah, the other partner had come to the, come to the farm for the cows and stuff, but we loaded up knocked on that vet's door said, look, we got this going on with this llama ramer. This one's got a fish hook stuck in his foot. And then we want to get these puppies their shots and tails docked. She was sweating by the time she got through with us. Cattle trailer full of dogs. Cattle trailer. She said, I think this is the first. I've never seen a cattle trailer pulled up with this many dogs to take care of at one time. <laughs> We the Baylesses. You'll get to know us. Yeah. So I don't think we made a dime off that load. That load to the stockyard. Probably not. Mm -mm. I don't oh, think we, we made a little money off the cows, but not much. You know? Yeah. We we always had that buy high and sell low. No, it's just it's, that one. That's true. It's something. The cattle prices are real volatile up and down. Yeah. They're yeah. really good right now, but they weren't. Most of the time, you know, and then we made money off of hay. Yeah, we did make money off of hay. That that was a yeah. that was a tip to Bermuda. Was yep. a tip to you. Tip. Yeah, but you know, and just like with the with the pine trees, everybody said plant pine trees, plant pine trees. So we had like ten acres. We decided to plant plant, and uh, bottom fell out of the pine trees. But they're probably high now because probably somebody's. Well, I mean, yeah, they're, they're long term. Yeah. You know, we did it for other reasons. That it would get it kind of wet. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really good for the cows. Had a bunch of little bitty ponds on it. I tell you something else we learned at the. Uh, and I don't know if I mentioned this before or not, but um, yellow jackets <laughs> love hay bales. Well, we could grow them things. Man, we could we could grow the finest yellow jackets. We grow, grow nothing else, but we could grow yellow jackets. Yep, I remember that. We almost, we almost struck a match to the little hay barn. Yeah, I miss the, I miss the farm. I miss the, the quietness. I don't miss the work. Yeah. But we was tired. We, we were tired. We had we had. I was trying to be. A, was I? I was still at nursing school then. And you was working? Yeah. Kids were both gymnastics. Kids were in gymnastics five days a week. I had to spur. Yeah, but now, now I, I, want, I want about seven to ten acres. That's what I want. Well, I mean, the other side is that it, kids were really busy. We was busy. Kids didn't get in trouble either. Yeah. They didn't have time to get in much trouble. So, I mean, that may have been the reason we had the fall. Yeah. But anyway, so just, guess we'll just end it here because I'm going to go home. I'm going to make some brownies. I think you were working on the um, back porch. The back porch is coming along. It's coming along. He's done real good on it. I, um, maybe I'll need to update the back porch build. Well, it's just still a work in progress. We still had, had, had a lot of time. Still got lumber all over the place. Blinkers on. The lumber's gonna be used to cover the screen. The what? Oh, the lumber. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's about it. Oh, let me show you how high we are. Hang on. Big hill coming into Hattiesburg. Big hill coming into Hattiesburg. Yeah, pretty. Say what you want, but the south is pretty. Look at those clouds. Well, y'all watch, watch some of these videos. Get an old man, help him retire, build a fish camp, baby. Build the fish camp back. Hashtag, build the fish camp. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call these videos. This will be Janice's kitchen, Bayless style. <laughs> Bayless style. All right, have a good one. Holler at y'all later.